Hey, you know, there's this idea going around about the, the wrongness of trapping yourself in an echo chamber where you only hear opinions and news and things that align with, with your, your personal beliefs. And, you know, I can understand how, you know, if you're a statist and, uh, you know, you're a statist of the right or the left, as if there's really a difference, <clears throat> you, you could do that. You know, you could watch certain news um, providers or, you know, only visit certain websites and, and you really could wall off your own life from any alternative viewpoints. And that's probably not good. But I'm here to tell you that if you're like me, a libertarian, abolitionist, voluntarist, anarchist, you don't even have the option of an echo chamber. It's, it's just not not a feature of reality. There is absolutely no way that that I could in any way isolate myself from other viewpoints. It's it's just laughable to even think about that because everywhere I go, everything I see, there's there's taxes added to all this stuff. There's um, licensing, there's property codes. Um, every website I visit, even if it's, uh, you know, if it aligns with me, it seems like there's ads and things for, for statist concepts. You know, any newspaper I happen to see, it's, it's promoting statism. Everybody I speak to is a statist of one form or another. I mean, everyone I speak to in real life. So, yeah, occasionally I would like to have a little echo chamber that I'm not going to be exposed to all of this really, really hideous statism that just seems like it's everywhere. And, you know, it's crazy because almost everyone at their heart is libertarian or even anarchist. They don't want to be controlled. They don't want people telling them what to do when they know that that advice or demand actually is going to hurt them. And yet they can't extend that to other people you know they i'm okay but you better control those people you know so yeah i mean i it would be sort of nice to to have the option to go hide in an echo chamber occasionally like the statists always do but it's not going to happen and in the long run it, it makes me stronger because I'm able to, to hear out the other side and see where they're wrong. Even if I'm, even if that's not my main intent, I am going to see where they're wrong. It, it's just going to be like a big flashing neon sign in my face. Usually, you know, you, they sit there and spend their time defending the indefensible and you know it's pretty obvious so anyway you know i guess if you're on the side of liberty there is no echo chamber so don't even really concern yourself with that you know you can go out there i guess and expose yourself to more statism if you really enjoy the pain, but you certainly shouldn't feel bad 
for occasionally carving out a small space for yourself that is uh, is kind of isolated from that kind of garbage. Anyway, see ya.